hi guys in this video we will be creating a vpc in our aws console so this will be a four part video series wherein we will be creating four types of vpc connections so in this part we will be creating a public subnet in the virtual private cloud and we will connect it to the internet gateway and in the second part we will create a public as well as private subnet and do natting between them and we will connect them to the internet gateway likely in the third part there uh, we will be establishing a vpn connection in addition to the previous part and the fourth part will be a private subnet and a vpn connection and uh, this will be hosted on the vpc so this type of connection is mostly used in corporate offices so these all four types of connection we will be establishing uh, so let's go ahead and first quickly see what are the basics of vpc so let me tell you a VPC is created inside a region and uh, in one region one user can create 5 VPC and also in a VPC there are 200 subnets one can create and similarly 200 routing tables will be there. And so let's start this is our VPC dashboard and you can check we are in North Virginia region now and in North Virginia region we are having 6 availability zones due to which we are having six subnets with us as each subnet is hosted in a different availability zone and when you create an AWS account AWS by default gives you a VPC with it there is six subnets also a routing has been configured for you and a internet gateway is provided so but we will skip all this part and create a VPC of our own so let's go to create VPC let's give it a name now this side is the important one so here we will give it a range as 10.0.0.0 so this is a private IP range so there are three types of ranges which will be class A which uh, comes from 10.0.0 class B will be from 172 and the class C will be from 192 so let's give it a cider so in our case we are giving it as 24 let's give it 16 so this 16 denotes that 8 bits are reserved for network ID and 8 bits are reserved for host ID. So let's create a VPC. So as you can check in a second this VPC is available for us. So let's go to the next step. Next step will be we will be creating a subnet. So let's create a subnet. We will select the VPC. Let's give the subnet a name. Now here the side block will be same as 10.0.0.0 because we have chosen class A. Sorry, just got a call. So the side range which I was talking about. So this will be same as a VPC. It will start with 10 as it was for class A. So here also we'll enter the class A range which is of 10. Now the side over here will be uh, something more than uh, 16 because we have entered 16 we given 8 bits to network 8 bits to host so anything more than 16 uh, we can enter, enter it over here let's enter 20 over here and create the subnet so a subnet is also created now the third step is we have to create a IGW which is the internet gateway let's create one IGW simple it is created within two clicks and now let's attach it to a VPC here is our VPC attach it done now let's do the last and final step which will be the route okay so now as you can check here by default it's not by default uh, when we create a VPC a routing table is generated for us so let's go to actions edit subnet association the subnet which we created just check it save association it's done now the subnet can communicate with each other as you have saved this association also one thing when it doesn't find any way so we have to give it a way to the internet so we'll go to routes edit routes and you will add a route over here which will be 0, 0, 0, 0. that is when nothing you don't know where to go you will directly go towards the internet and let's enter here internet gateway 
and select it and save changes so as of now we have created a VPC successfully there are four steps a VPC then subnet then we create the internet gateway and then we do the routing so let's go ahead to our EC2 section and uh, create an instance for us and host it on our uh, VPC and let's check everything is fine or not we'll launch an instance right here we'll uh, take a windows instance yeah this will be fine to micro now here we won't be taking the default we'll be taking our VPC then this is our subnet we will do an auto IP assign and then uh, go to add storage this is all is not required let's give it a security group so we will create a new security group RDP and custom it is given to the internet that is whenever we connect to RDP we will be able to connect with our own IP address let's launch it uh, create a new tab windows Let's download the key pair and launch instance so I'll just check uh, whether instance yeah it is isn't pending so I'll just unpause the video in time so as you can check our VPC is in running state now I mean our instance is in running state now so let's connect obviously we will do it through RDB client as SSM is not installed and have uh, done a separate video for the same so if you want you can check it out so RDP is there with us let's look at password browse the pen file which we created Windows open the correct password this is our password so let's go to RDP open public IP connect administrator and here is the password yes we are in as of now everything is good So as you can check we are in successfully now and also the IP and everything is uh, visible over here so let's check if we are able to connect to internet or not for that we will go to command prompt and simply do ping 8.8.8.8 and, and as you can check we are able to get a reply over here that is our VPC connection is successfully done over here so this was our first part and in the coming part we will uh, try to do the VPC which I just uh, showed you in the beginning of the video so thank you for watching and uh, do follow me on the link given below thank you